ladies and gentlemen once again welcome back to our channel and the topic for today's JCL tutorial is job statement it is also known as job card in this tutorial we'll primarily focus on the definition of job statement and the different parameters which is used to define a job card this JCL tutorial is divided into four different sections. first one is introduction to JCL in this section we will focus on the definition of JCL and why it is used on mainframe. The second section is for job control statement and in this section we will focus on the different types of job control statements that are there in a JCL. In third section we will primarily focus on job card and what are the different parameters which is used to define a job card in your JCL. And in the last section, I'll explain a sample JCL so that you can understand how you can define a job card in your JCL. And before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. And I would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers who have already subscribed to our channel. So let's get started with today's presentation. So the term JCL stands for Job Control Language and is basically the command language of the ZOS operating system. So JCL provide a mechanism for the program to read input and write output to a requested physical resources. For every job that you submit, you need to tell the ZOS where to find the correct input, how to process that input and what to do with the resulting output. You use JCL to convey this information to ZOS through a set of statements which is known as job control statements. The job control statements are grouped into job steps. Finally, a job step consists of all the job control statements that needs to run a program. And in general, Every job must contain a minimum of two following steps. First one is a job card or a job statement and the second one is exe statement or an execute statement. Now let's move on to the next section that is job control statements. So in general you have three different types of job control statement. First one is job statement or a job card second one is exe statement or execute statement and the third one is dd statements so in this video we will focus on job card or job statement so a job statement is the first statement of a jcl and it actually marks the beginning of a job and assign a name to that particular job the jcl job card or job statement actually includes various different parameters and remember, you can only have a single job statement in your JCL. Now, let's quickly look at the structure of a JCL job card and what are the different parameters which is used when you are defining a job card in your JCL. So the first two columns are used to specify the identifier. Then you have a job name and it is required on every job statement. The next is a job keyword that specify that this set of statement is a job statement. The next parameter is accounting information and it is used to specify the account number or other accounting information. It is typically used to charge the job processing time back to a specific department or a group. The next parameter is programmer name and it is used to specify the owner of the job. And remember, the job statement has only two positional parameters. First one is accounting information and second one is programmer's name. The next parameter is class and the class parameter in JCL is used to categorize and schedule the job. The next parameter is message class. It is actually a single character output class which is used for job message output. The next important parameter is message level and it is actually used to control which JCL statements and system messages are produced by the job. 
the next parameter is notify and it is used to notify the user automatically when the job completes. The job statement has almost 20 keyword parameters. However, I have only included 4 or 5 important parameters which is generally used on daily basis. You very often use all 20 parameters uh, in a single job. And I'll cover the remaining parameters in my next video. So now let's move on to the next section that is job card example and in this section I'll walk you through with a sample JCL so that you can understand how you can write a job card in your JCL and what are the different job control statements that you can use in a JCL to run a program. So this is a sample JCL to run a COBOL program that is TREMP001 and if you look at the job card of this particular JCL in the first line so you'll have a identifier at the first two columns then you have a job name so that the job name should be a valid job name it should not start with a number it should always start with an alphabet similarly you have a job keyword which is actually used to identify that this is a job statement followed by a job statement you have uh, accounting information and a programmer name I have not used the class parameter because I am just using a default class it's not a very CPU intensive job and then you have a message class I've used message class as a again you must follow your project guidelines to use the message class right the next parameter is message level and I've used 1 comma 1 that means I want to print both the system and job related messages and the last parameter is notify and I've specified as M person sysuid so it will automatically pick my ID and it will notify me once the job is completed the other two job control statements that I've used in this JCL is exe uh, job control statement and the DD job control statement so I've, I'll create a separate video on that so that you can understand what are different parameters that is used when you want to define these particular uh, job control statements so ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's presentation and i would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and in case if you have any question then please do mention that in the comment section and i'm going to respond back after this presentation and in case if you like this video then share it with your friends and in case if you don't like this video then please do mention the feedback so that i can know what extra you're looking for and I'm 100% sure that in my next video, I'm going to get all those details that you're looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for listening so patiently. Bye-bye and take care.